everyone, it's me, Krista. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If not, welcome for the very first time to my little art corner here on YouTube. Today we are going to be playing around with the items that came in the Art Snacks September 2020 box. Because of the colors of the items I got, I was thinking about drawing either a fried egg or a daisy. I ended up going with a daisy, and it is a very lopsided and perfect looking little daisy. I really wanted to test that white Posca pen I got, so I decided to use some black paper. Specifically, it is some Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Black. So it's a watercolor paper that's nice and thick, and I am using the more textured side. I wanted to try out a different kind of paper. I've been mostly using white paper, throwing in a toned paper every once in a while. It's just fun to play around with, and this paper specifically, I knew that it could hold itself up against the wet media that we have going on. I did my sketch using a white chalk pastel pencil, a General's one, and after I got that in, I put some yellow in the center of the flower and went over it with the white and kind of jumped back and forth between those, and then I started applying the white Posca pen to the petals of the flower. When using the white Posca pen, I'm doing lines, and I'm starting where I want it to be the lightest and letting the ink run out a little bit so it gradually gets darker. This way I can give the illusion of some subtle shading. I also am leaving deep black lines in between the petals, so I'm not touching it with the Posca pen at all. I'm just letting that paper stay black for now. I will later use the Micron pen that I got to sharpen up some of those edges I know on the description for the Posca pen, it says it's really opaque, but as you can see here, it's really not. I did have to stop a couple times and shake it a little bit and then push the little button on the bottom in order to get more flow. That's pretty normal for these kind of markers though. The Kiritake Zig Cambio Tambian Brush Pen, I just had to shake it a little bit at the beginning and the flow for that one stayed pretty well, honestly. I also liked how different it looked on the black paper itself and how it looked layered over the white. I also enjoyed how the Posca pen and the Kiritake Zig brush pen mixed together. I was able to get a couple of different shades going on doing that. They played really nicely together. To create the stem, I am just using the Faber-Castell Polychromos colored pencil in sky blue directly onto the paper. I also pull in that colored pencil to the petals of the flower and a little bit into the middle of it to help create more shading. I don't like having just straight white. I like mixing blue and yellow in with it. I didn't mix as much yellow in with the petals of the flower as I normally would, but I definitely wanted to pull in the blue. I use the Sakura Pigma Micron pen in a couple of different ways. I use it to help sharpen up my outline against that black paper because it matches it so darn well. I'm also using it to create some lines in the petals of the flower and some texture on that little middle part of the flower. And I use it to create some shading on the stem, basically just using different line techniques, cross hatching, etc. I do cheat a little bit with this one. I pull in another Sakura Pigma Micron pen. This one's in 05 instead of 03. It's not on the screen yet. But I pull in that other one just to get a little bit more variation in the width of the lines. I did this to help create some more depth going on. There isn't going to be a lot of depth in this drawing because the supplies are so limited and I am using stark white against a black paper. It's going to be very high contrast and a lot of the shading is not going to be very subtle because of that. I'm pretty sure at this point the middle of the flower was actually dry, but I do pull in a hair dryer just in case. I did also really enjoy how well the Faber-Castell colored pencil layered over the Posca pen. It did a lot better doing that than I thought it would. You do want to make sure that it is dry before you put the colored pencil over any of the inks that came in this month's box. Overall, I ended up really enjoying this box. I liked pretty much everything in there, and I know a lot of it is stuff that I will definitely use in other projects later. The Kiritake Zig Cambio Tambian Brush Pen is going to be a great color to have for Inktober coming up. I know I'll utilize it for that. The Uni Posca PCF 350 Brush Tip Paint Marker, I'm going to use a bunch as well. It's going to be great for doing highlights and all that fun stuff. 
The Fabric Castell Polychromos Colored Pencil. I love these. I'm very happy to have another color. I currently have a bunch of Prisma color colored pencils, and I'm going to slowly be replacing them with these pencils as I run out. As for the Sakura Pigma Micron pen, I really don't need any other liners. It works really well. It's just another black liner. That's all there really is to it. Now I'm going to talk a little bit more about the process of the drawing before we go. At this point, I decided the background needed something going on, so I'm just doing some dotting. First using the Posca pen, and then I pull in the Kiritake Zig Cambio Tambian brush pen, and then the Faber-Castell colored pencil. So all those colors that are in the flower itself, there are little dots in the background. For the yellow and the blue, I did not place them over the white. I let them go around on the black paper as well, just to get some different colors going on. But with that, this project, and therefore this video, is pretty much done. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, feelings, concerns, or you've used any of the items of this month's box, let me know all about it in that comment section down below. If you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. I do art snacks, unboxings, and projects once a month. As always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day or night to watch this video and listen to me ramble. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon, and you will definitely be hanging from me soon. Bye, everybody!